Covering news that matters. Fox 23 News at 10 starts right now. And tonight's You Decide 2024 coverage for the first time in four years, Republicans will control the U.S. Senate. Thanks so much for joining us at 10. I'm Sarah Whaley. And I'm Shay Rossi. This will happen at the same time President-elect Donald Trump returns to the White House. Fox 23 anchor Rick Marinon is live in studio tonight after talking one-on-one -on -one with Oklahoma U.S. Senator James Lankford about what this majority plans to do on day one. Well, they are going to move in lockstep with Trump and take immediate action on the southern border with President Trump taking office on day one. This is all going to happen very fast. Then they will move on to Trump's promises on to permanent tax cuts that are currently set to expire. His border bill was a hot topic in the presidential race. And now Oklahoma Senator James Langford says it will be one of the first things. The new Republican-controlled Senate passes next year. If you do qualify, you get in faster, but only about 3% of the people that ask actually qualify for asylum. The other 97% are gaming the system. Langford says the bill he tried to get passed earlier this year will need to be slightly changed because it had a funding mechanism to force President Joe Biden to act on the border or he couldn't fund his other priorities. Half of it is not needed anymore because we have a president that's willing to actually enforce the law. Langford says his immigration bill and other border proposals will Mr. be passed Langford. quickly alongside day one executive actions nice. from President-elect Donald Trump himself. Then all attention is set to be paid to the economy. Over and over, Kamala Harris and Joe Biden kept saying, things are better, things are better, things are better. It was kind of like, don't believe your lying eyes. You know, people experienced it. The, the price of everything is up 20% or more. Langford says in D.C., people think things are fine. However, outside of the Capitol, voters spoke loud and clear that they are struggling with many things like inflation. The tax bill that came in 2017 expires at the end of next year. If we do nothing next year on tax policy, everyone in America, their taxes go up. But as they move on tax cuts and other financial reforms, it was announced Wednesday Republicans will not eliminate the Senate's 60-vote requirement known as the filibuster. I think the filibuster is very secure. Langford says Republicans want Democrats at the table in the same way they had a seat in the first two years of the Biden administration. People say that's crazy, but what it does is when two people disagree, they got to sit down like grown-ups and actually discuss the issue and figure out where do we have common ground. Clearly, even from election and the huge victory that Trump had last night, it's still about half of Americans disagree with the direction. That half needs to be heard. Longtime Republican leader Mitch McConnell will not lead the Republican majority in the Senate for the first time in decades. There will actually be a new leadership vote later this month. During that leadership vote, Langford says he will, for the first time, seek a leadership position himself. It will not be majority leader, we should note. Live covering news that matters, I'm Rick Marin on Fox 23 News.